Good afternoon, Mr. Singh, and thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. And congratulations to you and your wife on your announcement that you're expecting a baby. We are. I'm really excited to share that with everybody. I look forward to it. We're looking forward to the journey and the adventure. I've always loved babies, so this will be a brand new and exciting adventure for us. And you have another adventure possibly on the horizon here too. It's on the minds of many Canadians as we await an expected announcement on Sunday that an election could be called. Do you believe that now is the right time to have an election? Uh, with the fourth wave potentially uh, upon us and, and maybe starting now with the focus that should be on getting everyone vaccinated and with the help that we need to deliver to Canadians. I've written a number of letters or two letters that, that particularly highlight recently how I think it's the wrong time to go to an election. We should be focused on people and helping them out. If an election is called, we'll be ready and we'll fight it, but it's not the right thing to do right now. What is your number one issue heading into the election? Making sure the ultra rich pay their fair share so we can invest in people. And that to me is one of the biggest concerns that a lot of folks have because we have seen what, what governments do and what Justin Trudeau is doing right now is very much in line with what past governments have done out of a crisis. He's already starting to cut the help that people need. He's cut the CRB, and that's uh, 1.8 million people that still can't go back to work that are receiving supports. He cut that by $800 a month. He also cut or is clawing back the GIS from some vulnerable seniors who needed to use CERB. So he's already targeting some of the most vulnerable instead of doing anything to go after the hundreds and hundreds of large corporations that took public money but didn't follow the rules, didn't use it to pay out support for their workers or paid out dividends to the shareholders suggesting that where they were profitable. So why would they need the public money in the first place? He's not going after them. Instead, he's going after people that are vulnerable. How would you go about doing that if an NDP government is formed? Well, there's a number of things that we can do, and we can start with examples like Amazon, one of the most profitable com com companies in the world that makes record profits in this pandemic and doesn't pays virtually no tax in Canada. Uh, France has shown an example of what we can do. We can tax the revenue that companies like Amazon make in Canada because they've set themselves up not to pay their fair share. Well, we can approach that with a solution. We know that billionaires and millionaires use offshore tax havens to hide their wealth and make profit in Canada. Large corporations make profit in Canada, but then hide their profits in offshore tax havens in countries like the Caribbean or in Europe. That has to end as well. We're also going to propose a tax on the extremely wealthy, those who are the ultra rich should contribute a bit more because they've not contributed their fair share. And so we'll put in place an extreme wealth tax.